Welcome back. This is the second part of our part two tutorial on working with Node.js and MongoDB in Ubuntu. Um, now, I've noticed a couple things during our break here. I forgot some goofball little things. So, we need to actually call the Mongoose module, which I don't know why I forgot this. And another thing was, if you recall, I believe I said earlier, all MongoDB requests are basically JSON requests. So we would need to enclose that into some brackets. And then another important one was I made a big deal about disconnecting. Well, I forgot to disconnect. So I want to disconnect right there in our save statement. All right. Uh, if you do it right outside, I don't know why, but it doesn't. You get a, a lag. I think it's because of. I, if I did a return, actually, it'd probably work fine. Um, now let's go back to our app where we left off. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I'm going to paste it again here in a second. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to copy all of this and edit it a little bit. All right. Um, for our error response, let's just leave it in the console. We haven't done a lot to handle this yet, so let's just leave it in the console. We're the only ones that need to know what's going on. Um, you'll get an idea of how to send those error requests or error responses to the user shortly when we do the name list send. So that'll be just after this. All right, and. Next, we are going to render our index file. Um, and we do this by our response and render and calling our index. And we want to send it some information. So, first, we are going to go ahead and send it the name list function that we just did. Uh, we'll go ahead and name it nameless. You could do it something else if you like, but let's just keep things consistent. And our Jade template from Express already had a title field set up for us. So let's go ahead and fill that in. We'll go um, Mongo node app sample. And that is it. We don't need to do anything else there. Let us start our post response. So I'll just paste in what we did earlier. We'll change get to post. And we are going to call upon the add directory when doing this, or add action from our form. So when we post, we're going to add. Um, we're not going to do a get list. We are going to add name. And when we do this, we are going to go ahead and grab the name field from our form. Um, so we're just going to call it name. Might as well. So request and body dot name since we're calling it name we're just gonna call it name and then inside of that we have a function call or a callback function with a error response nope I guess Never mind, we don't need that. That's already handled for us. And so, similar console oh, log error. And then, if everything is okay, we are just going to redirect back to our root level directory. So, how we do this, it's uh, response redirect to 
our root. And that is it. We don't need to do anything else here. Uh, make sure, because I got a little mixed up there, I wrote that right. Okay, that should be good. Um, panel spacer. All right, let's go ahead and edit our Jade template. Uh, I had opened up the layout template earlier. We actually need to open up the index.jade file, not the layout.jade file. Index extends from the layout Jade file. And Jade templates are very sensitive to tabs. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one and paste, copy and paste it every time I need it for our structure. Because uh, I don't want our text editor messing things up right now. And we're going to create a form with a method of post and, and an action of add. And let's create a label for our field and we said we were going to call it name so let's call it say that's for name and let's put a space there between them and input name equals name and we will go ahead and just put the button next to it. Uh, Jade templates use the input field to do your buttons. So when you do this, you'd have to go type equals button. In this case, we're going to do submit because it's a post form with a value of add. And that's it. Let's move on. And now let's call upon our name list that we're passing. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go for names in oh, name list. And pretty simple. We're just going to do a paragraph tag, uh, pound. And remember, these are JSON-like parameters, brackets, and names.name. Uh, Jade templates, or MongoDB, I should say, it has more than just the name field, so that is why we have to actually call the extension from names on what we're actually looking for in it, because uh, there are also a couple other things like a unique ID, I believe there's a date field in there, uh, I could pull that up, but I'm going to forego it right now. All right, let's go ahead and run it and hope everything works. So npm install. Uh, if I didn't go over those warnings before, if you could see, they're just descriptor type of things. Uh, the repository is a unique one, and it is nice to have. If I have a repository with all this code, it will make sure everything's up to date. All right, and node app.js. And I am forgetting something. Requests on line 42. All right, let's go over there and see exactly what's going on. Oh, I don't know why I had that. I was ahead of myself. Oh, it's because we copy and pasted. That's why. Okay, that should be good. Listening on port 3000. And refresh this for my earlier test. Oh, we do have another error. Index jade, type submit, value add. I did something in the jade template. Let's go back to that and make sure we have it correct. Type equals submit value add and put name what did I do 
I see what I did was I called this names list so hopefully that works refresh all right there we go and so let's go Brandon Dunn Brandon Dunn thank you very much um, continue on after this and we're gonna go ahead and get this application we just built prepped up for deploying to AWS services with Juju Juju means magic see you guys in the next video